This week on Moving Markets, one of Southeast Asia's largest brokerages outlines its IPO ambitions. Wall Street's biggest banks report yet another round of stellar earnings, and a cryptocurrency exchange makes a spectacular debut on the Nasdaq. One of Southeast Asia's largest brokerages, CGS CIMB Securities, has revealed plans to go public by 2025 with a valuation of 1 billion Singapore dollars. In an interview with Bloomberg, CEO Carol Fong said the firm is mulling an IPO in either Singapore, Hong Kong or Malaysia and is even considering doing so via a SPAC. There hasn't yet been a specific timeline set for CGS CIMB's listing, but the news comes amidst a boom in retail trading. The 3 million new Robinhood accounts that were opened in the first five months of 2020 is evidence of that, as many new investors gravitated towards the zero-fee trading app. Online brokerage Robinhood itself is headed for an IPO later this year. Even here in Malaysia, Rakuten Trade managed to nearly triple the number of accounts on its platform last year and broke even ahead of schedule. Broking has become one of the clear winners of the COVID-19 pandemic, but this business is not without its challenges. Currently, the vast majority of CGS CIMB's customers are above 40 years old. Attracting younger, new customers will be a priority. Plus, how will it respond to the shift towards commission-free trading, which was sparked by Robin Hood and later copied by incumbent brokerages like Charles Schwab and Morgan Stanley's E-Trade? From the GameStop saga to a boom in SPAC IPOs, the first quarter of 2021 was busy with capital market activity, and this was reflected in the earnings of Wall Street's biggest banks. Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan Chase each posted results that beat expectations. Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan both saw higher investment banking fees driven by a record number of blank check company IPOs. In fact, more SPACs went public in the first quarter of 2021 than in all of last year. Naturally, equity underwriting at both firms posted all-time high revenues. Wells Fargo also reported a sevenfold increase in profits, hinting at the success of its ongoing turnaround efforts. The bank's earnings also painted a more optimistic picture of Main Street. All three banks released millions of dollars in reserves, which had earlier been set aside as credit cushioning, a sign of optimism for the times ahead. What they will do with that extra cash remains to be seen. But the question is, has this good news been priced in? After all, all three banks are up by between 18 to 40 percent since the beginning of the year. Coinbase has become the first IPO of a major cryptocurrency company. The crypto exchange platform popped 52 percent when it debuted on the Nasdaq on Wednesday and closed up 31 percent. Investors are clearly bullish on this stock. Many are saying Coinbase's IPO is the Netscape moment for cryptocurrency. Bitcoin has shot up nearly 800% in the last year, while Ethereum is up 1,300%. But can Coinbase justify its valuation of 85 billion US dollars? Well, the company does have significant market share as 11% of all crypto assets are on its platform. In fact, in 2020, Coinbase doubled its revenue in a year, turning profitable an achievement which few startups can boast of. Cryptocurrency has also been gaining mainstream traction, but regulatory risk still remains, a fact that's even acknowledged by Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong himself. And that's what's been moving markets.